Hi everyone, my name is Colin and welcome to another video from West Cork Beard Company. Today we're going to talk about the differences between beard oil, beard butter and beard balm. First up is beard oil, and beard oil is a mix of carrier oils and essential oils. In our beard oil there's argan oil, golden hokuba oil, and a mix of essential oils. And beard oil is especially for, to moisturize the skin underneath the beard. So you're gonna really get in there, it's in liquid form, you're gonna take some out of the bottle, put it on the palm of your hands, you can see it's a nice golden liquid, put it on the palm of your hands, and then from there, you're gonna rub from your ears to chin with your fingers, getting in there, moisturizing the skin, and beard oil is used all the way along your beard care journey, from the stubble phase all the way until it's as long as you want. So beard oil is gonna be with you for, for your entire beard care journey, you're gonna use it daily if possible um, to keep your beard nice and healthy. Moving on, we've got beard butter. Now what is beard butter? Beard butter is made from shea butter, uh, coconut oil, um, hokuba oil, and some essential oils as well. They're also in some other beard um, butters. You can use beeswax, you can use uh, other butters like mango butter, but in our beard butter, there's shea butter and no beeswax. We've, we've gone for no beeswax to keep it nice and light. And what beard butter does, it really coats the hairs and conditions, conditions them and it gets it very, very soft. It's a very, very light consistency, so it's quite soft compared to the beard balm. So it's easily applicable. You, you're gonna grab a scoop of it onto your finger, mix it together, it's gonna uh, uh, liquefy on your fingers and then you're gonna get in there rub it onto your beard coating the hairs itself and then you're gonna brush it out and that's used especially at night time to give it a nice soft conditioned feeling it, that night and also the next morning um, when you get up and then you continue your continue um, into your beard care routine as normal. So that's the oil first, then you move on to your uh, beard butter, very, very different uh, oil for moisturizing the skin, beard butter for conditioning the hair and keep it nice and soft. Then finally, we move on to our beard balm. Now beard balm is more for styling the beard. There's be beeswax in it and quite a lot of beeswax in it. And what that does, it, um, kind of hardens on your beard a little bit, so it gives you some control to shape and define um, the way you want to style your beard. So that's beeswax, there is some shea butter in it as well, and also some argan oil, hokuba oil, and some different essential oils as well to give you a little bit of scent. So a beard balm is very much needed for uh, bigger beards. If they're a little bit wild, it tames all the wispy wispiness. Um, you, you rub it in with the beard balm, it's a little bit hard, the consistency, if you, if, you can, if you compare the butter and the balm, the butter is quite soft, the beard balm is very, very hard, so you need the back of your nail, scrape along, around, along the back of it, you'll transfer it onto the palm of your hand, again, liquefy it, and then rub from ears to chin, getting all those wispy hairs, and keeping your beard looking and feeling feeling good. So they're the three products that I use in my beard. Number one, our beard oil to moisturize the skin underneath the beard, uh, the beard butter to condition and soften, and then finally using your beard balm to get a little bit of definition and shape in your beard, especially for longer beards. Beard oil for the short beard all the way to the long beard. Uh, beard butter can be used after a couple of weeks as you grow out your beard to keep the beard soft, and then your beard balm is more for longer beards, like I said, to keep um, the shape in, in your beard. So that's hopefully clears up the three um, products that I use daily, beard oil, beard butter, and beard balm. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments uh, section below. Let me know what you primarily use of the three here. And thanks very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you liked the video, and I'll see you in the next one.